The ghosties are back! <laughs> Alright, we have four ghost friends now, and we're totally on, um, we're totally doing the side quest uh, for the Romanian guy in the Chinese shop in London. Now we're gonna go talk to the Oracle again, but we know that the Oracle has kind of trade has been kind of a traitor, right? So we'll see what happens. And Oscar is still on his rocking horse and not in sync at all. Right. Right. Still looks weird. There they are. Um, Caesar and Death. Stairs to the stage. Wee. Wait, what was that? Oh. Hello. The Motley crew is back. So, Captain, did you enjoy your holiday in Scotland? That was no holiday. It was... Uh, sorry, I wasn't referring to you when I said Captain. I meant the young lady. Hey, but I'm... Okay, Oscar. I'm certainly not the leader of this crazy bunch. Okay, whatever. We found out that her sister may still be alive. Yes, her ghost is hiding. But she wants to return to her body. You don't say. Perhaps she's in a coma. Unconscious. Had that occurred to you? Yes, you could be right. Maybe she has been given some medicine. What now? What do you mean, what now? What are we supposed to do now? How are we supposed to know that? You're the Oracle, aren't you? But we're not on about the Oracle nonsense again, are we? Now look, we have our own problems here too. We've still not worked out how to perform the play right through to the end. And so we'll never be released. Why don't you go away and have another holiday somewhere far away? Yes. In Transylvania, for example. Yes. A place where many ghosts seek refuge. You're bound to like it there. Ghosts seek refuge there? Yes. And they also talk to people. To gypsies in particular. Gypsies in Transylvania. There you have it. I've heard they can even catch the souls of the deceased and keep them in crystal balls. Do you mean to say we can catch Emily's ghost in Transylvania? Exactly. And there's a lot more we want to say to you. And now be off with you. There's sure to be all sorts of ships at the harbour that will gladly take you anywhere. Especially away from us. <laughs> That's very good advice. Thanks for your help. Maybe I can still save Emily. They're a nice bunch, in a way. Pa! Shouldn't we tell them about the disappearing souls? Of course. All in good time. You should probably tell us about that right now. Come on, Mary, let's go to the harbor. You probably should mention that now. I'm just saying. Could be a good idea. Emma's haunted. Good work. Oh dear, the terrible rocking. I think I'm going to be sick. Wow, that journey must. My God, Oscar! I didn't know ghosts could throw up. And so much. That was the most revolting thing I have ever seen in my life. And after. This always happens when I'm not actually sitting at the helm. So this is it. The spiritualist. Here's where I'll find other believers. We're mainly here with these gypsies hoping to solve the mystery of Emily's ghost. If the Oracle is right, there is much more at stake here than just one soul. Just one soul? If we can return Emily's ghost to her body, then I shall want nothing more. That isn't a universal belief, but you have to start small. Hey, you there. Do you realize you're talking to yourself? 
Um... Is it true that you cook some really good steak? What? Is this a gypsy camp? No. The gypsy camp is over there. This is secret research laboratory of an exotic species. Oh. Of course this is a gypsy camp. Wagons, campfire, gypsies, you know? A gypsy camp? Oh. My doctor prescribed a holiday in the mountains. You seem to be in dire need of it. Is it true that you cook some really good steak? Well, Mum's steaks taste more like old shoe soles. But Mum has some uh, strange quirks anyway. What? Can you answer a few questions for me? I still have lots of things to do. Things that you wouldn't understand anyway. A woman with red hair. In the forest? And she does things we don't understand? At last. Hey? We've found the witch we can burn. You're starting to annoy me even more than that walking lump of wood. What magnificent highlands. They're almost Scottish. Ah, uh, if only I could find a wife and settle down here. Then I would be happy at last. I'll rephrase that. The big lump of wood is the one who irritates me the most. Why does nobody want to burn the witch? We even have a fire ready over what? there. We don't burn the people! The will turn into water if you don't stop saying such stupid things. Don't boast about your magical talents, demon from hell. I could try to form a ball of water around your head, and then we wouldn't have to listen to any more of your jabbering. Yes, As you please. Wish, I shall be quiet. You'll soon see what good it does you. One thing above all, peace at last. Chapter 4, Dancing Respect. with Wolves. I beg your pardon. I have been going around hey you, with a pirate. Don't touch anything Never here. Um, I, I, what's going on here today that all the strangers want to touch everything? Strictly speaking, Wait, he has all even left the strangers? The I'm not the no only one? But he's known as the pitiful. Hey Lucy. What? I hey, hold the... on. Oh, Who are it. you? Um Wait a moment. We've already spoken to each other. No, I've never seen you here. And so many people have been bothering us today that I'm not letting you in too. Come back in a week. At the earliest. Leave Oscar alone, okay. you bunch. But I'm He's pretty sure I have been here and talked you to you have. once. Hey, hold on. Who are you? Could it be you're having memory problems? Oh no! How did you know that, damn it? I was known as Lucy the Contract Killer. And then someone shot me and I fell down a crevice. Or wait, I think it happened when I was assembling this machine for my brother. Damn, I just can't remember. My short-term memory has been making things difficult for me recently. I think I would prefer to be alone now. Okay. Okay, big man. I'll handle the wide mouth frog myself. Touched clearing. That sounds good. What the? Now, we only need to catch this damn rabbit, and these gypsies will help us. How much longer is it going to take, Ethan? I am tired. The long trip has not improved my condition. Quite the contrary. I sense I have not much time left. I don't want to know what would have happened if we hadn't recruited the spy. Yes, the information about Transylvania was very helpful. I can't wait to capture the girl's soul. When body and spirit are united again, I will carry out the experiment at last. I will be young and healthy again. And I will be alone again. Oh, if I only knew why Mr. Hyde left me. Ethan, you wimp. You have no idea what it is like to really feel bad. No? Believe me. Of course, Professor. They're a step ahead of us. Whatever the Professor wants to do, it could have bad consequences. We need to stop her. Think about what the Oracle said. Who knows what awful things the woman is doing with the spirit world? We can't let them know we're already here. 
Excuse me, Professor. I must, um, briefly step out. Then go, but quickly. What? Have you noticed it too? William. I smell... I smell... The English. Right. We need to be careful. William, up there are Professor Ashcroft and her henchmen. You can't miss them. Wait. I'll take care of that. So what was that then? What? Freedom! But doesn't she see ghosts? Doesn't we need she... to try something else. Thanks, William. Hear that was him? really helpful. And not at all predictable. But no rabbit should what actually just have been able to escape the death trap. I don't understand what just happened. Of course not. No one has escaped your trap. I better not let them catch me. True. There's a cute rabbit. The girl escaped. I wouldn't she know how my almost you, unbelievable knowledge me. of languages could help here. Ah, uh, right. Ah, of course. Oh, yes. Then we have the numbskull giant mm. here. Who only knows how to hack people into okay. two or more pieces. Hey, hold on. Who are you? Hey, Lucy, my old friend. We meet again at last. How do you know my name? I just automatically chose a typical gypsy name. Wait, this memory loss business sounds strangely familiar. Really? I've heard it's rather uncommon. It sometimes exists on Indian islands, but only after bad accidents. Other people say even doors can be affected by it. What rubbish! We were at school together. Were we? But I don't seem to recognize you. Oh, my memory. Um... You made it out with Ramon back then. I just want to shamelessly exploit the gaps in your memory. I'll tell everyone that you made out with Ramon back then. What do you mean, Ramon? Oh my. That would be so embarrassing. Okay, you nasty former classmate. Welcome to our camp. But don't break anything. And don't steal anything. Gypsies know some good curses. Witch! Shut up. Who in his ghost form won't be much help to us now. Dear Lord. Oops, a bra. Whoop. Don't look. Um, door of the residential caravan. Right, let's not go there right now. It's a nice forest, though. Let's see here. It looks as though it was not always designed for washing. I'm a pirate with special abilities. I'm not going to do any old nonsense. Are you sure? Oh, more bras and underwear. Sleeping wagon reserved for Ethan and the professor. There is nothing in here. Hey, Richie. Um, excuse me. I have a few questions. Uh-huh. So why would I want to speak with you? Excuse me? What do you mean? The whole day long, stupid English people come by and want to know something about ghosts. I don't feel like it anymore. Without a minimum of intelligence, no one gets anywhere with me. <sighs> I've long been a match for your intelligence. You think so? Well, let's have a look. I am excellent in all branches of mathematics and puzzle solving. I can take puzzle you. Puzzle solving? Is that a science now? Okay. And I keep myself fit through reading and experiments. So I'm interested in one of those. How about a numbers game from the illumination field? Uh, I don't know what that means, but I'm sure we can do it. That's yeah. my speciality. It's very simple. This proved the Koperskian formula for me. No problem. Let's go. Okay. I'll start to count then. 
I don't know what 15, I'm doing. 14, 13, I better hide 12, myself quickly. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Really? We're just four, playing hide and seek? 3, 2, 1. Ha! Found you! Hmm. It's not actually that easy. I knew you couldn't do it. Mm hmm. Right, we have to find a better hiding spot. Okay, so basically he just he just wants to play hide and seek. Right. Right. I'll just keep looking around. Confucius says. In this object, I may not materialize as either water or steam. There was something here. What was that? Aha, rusty barbed wire, maybe. Hey, hands off. Do you usually go through life grabbing everything that isn't nailed down? Yep. Hmm. Yes, I have been doing that lately. First those funny English people, and now you! English people? It would be so much nicer here without the tourists. Oh, those English. Oh, those English. It's all stated here in the contract, madam. What? Nobody can understand this contract. The language is so... It's too late now. You should have said that before you signed the contract. Wait, is it ghosts speaking? But no. what can we do oh. now? I see. There are people here. <laughs> well, there's nothing you can do now. A mistake in the contract oh, would be the only that's possible mother. way out. And that I'm sorry. Is impossible. Can I disturb you for a moment? No, I cannot spare the time for other matters. But... I must deal with the eviction of this family. Ignore it. The guy's an ass. What you think of me is no concern of mine, madam. The important thing is that you get out of here. Uh, yes. I'd better go then. I think that would be wise. Now, back to you, madam. Where were we? Ah, uh, yes. I wrote and checked the contract myself. Uh, hey, that's an important piece of evidence. Hands off. No, never. Can I interrupt you a moment? Sheesh! <laughs> What's going on now? What's all this funny business with the lawyer, then? Funny? I don't see what's so funny about it. So, stupidly, we signed an agreement, which he now keeps waving under our nose. It's allegedly to authorize the old cutthroat to drive us out of here. Silencio! You're making no sense, sir. What a beautiful French name you have. <laughs> you should be really proud of it. I'll keep calling you cutthroat, anyway. <laughs> Why did you sign the agreement when you really didn't want to? The State Bank of Transylvania offered us a fantastic loan. So we simply had to grab the chance. And didn't read the small print. What do you think? Of course we read it all. We just didn't understand it. The thing has been written in finest Romanian officialese. <laughs> it's like a damned foreign language. Well, and now he's been coming here day in, day out to talk to us about it. And. On the dot of the witching hour, you disappear again, do you not, Mr. Lawyer? And how irritating you are with your odd movements. There's something not quite right about you, man. Madam, I could say the same about you. A bizarre story, as you can see. Are you the, uh, mum? Is there a problem with it? Mm, nope. But seriously, you're not a woman. You're a sly one, aren't you? Now listen here, you cheeky rascal. The mother of these poor children lost her life some years ago in a terrible accident. Lucy had switched the Enigma machine on for the first time, and a few parts from overseas were of poor quality. The whole thing backfired, if you see what I mean. The good mum got caught by surprise. She was as red in the face as a roast chicken. I can't talk about it anymore. Oh. Was that also around the time that Lucy 
became a little strange. Well, Lucy surely had her share, and since then, her memory hasn't been the best, as I'm sure you've noticed. I assumed the role of the mother, so she wouldn't go completely mad. She can't remember what she looked like before anyway. And I'll say this. It's a real sacrifice I'm making here. Even the strongest Hulk couldn't stand the weekly coffee meetings with Transylvanian gypsy <laughs> women for very long. So, I hope Lucy finishes her correspondence course soon. And then, she can attend Bucharest Technical University. One thing is very clear. I'm the mom. There's no disputing that. But what do gypsies have to do with ghosts? The old alliance between gypsies and the dead? Well, you're brave. But it takes quite a while. Have you got enough time? Yes. Sure, I have some time. Then, let's start at the beginning. The first signs of ghosts date back to around 2000 BC. But it's likely that ghosts have been speaking to humans from the beginning of time. But humans didn't always have the gift of being able to listen to them. The first evidence of this was uncovered in the desert of... A few hours later. Well, and as you can imagine, they were pretty keen about it, naturally. <coughs> May I just interrupt you briefly? No. No, you can just shut your mouth. Where were we? Oh, yes. Back then in Paris, the church came into possession of the documents. But the priest of Notre Dame doubted their authenticity. And rightly so. The scientist Pierre Onlon, who was carrying out research on ghosts. And the night. Well, that's why ghosts are bound to humans, when they possess the magical object. Ah, I understand. That was a vital piece of information for me. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Oh, it's pretty late now. Yes. And where's the lawyer? The lawyer? Ah, that's strange. He always vanishes at precisely five minutes before midnight. So, at least I get some peace at night. But in the morning, he's always back here again punctually. And he won't let that damn document out of his sight. If only I could get my hands on it. Uh, it sounds like we have to get our hands on a document. da -dum bum bum Or something. Anyways, it's night. Which might be good, maybe, right? No? Yes? Maybe? Anyways, I think we're fairly out of time, so we're going to take a break here. We are in Transylvania with the gypsies and, you know, fun stuff, yay! Alright, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see y'all later.